name is Jennifer Hubbard, and I'm the president at Polar Knowledge Canada. It is our pleasure to have this opportunity to provide you with an overview of Canada's Antarctic Science Initiatives and our application for full membership in the Council of Managers of National Antarctic Programs. Polar Knowledge Canada is the Government of Canada agency that works to increase knowledge of both polar regions and is leading the development and implementation of the Canadian Antarctic Research Program. Canada undertakes a wide range of high latitude and cold regions research in both polar regions. For example, here at the Canadian High Arctic Research Station, researchers from across Canada and around the world are conducting studies on climate change, terrestrial and marine ecosystems and biodiversity, and innovative cold climate technologies. Le Canada accueille les occasions de s'associer à des chercheurs d'autres nations pour améliorer notre compréhension des environnements arctiques et antarctiques. Now, I'm pleased to introduce Dr. David Hick, Polar's chief scientist, who will provide you more information about Canada's Antarctic research activities. It was a pleasure to have met many of you recently at the ATCM in Berlin. And although we cannot be together in person for this year's COMNAP meeting, I look forward to doing that next year. Canadian scientists have been active in Antarctic research for many decades. Dr. Fred Roots, for example, was part of the Norwegian, British, Swedish Antarctic expedition of 1949 to 1952. This international expedition established that Antarctica's glaciers, like others observed elsewhere on the planet, had once been much larger. Over the next 50 years, Fred helped to establish many of Canada's national Arctic and Antarctic capabilities, including the Polar Continental Shelf Program, which continues to support teams of Canadian and international researchers through the Arctic Antarctic Exchange Program. Dr. Kathy Conlon, a marine biologist from the Canadian Museum of Nature, is another pioneering Canadian Antarctic researcher who mentored numerous students and led the development of national Antarctic outreach and education programs. Canada became a non-consultative party to the Antarctic Treaty in 1988 and ratified the Protocol on Environmental Protection in 2003. And Canada has been contributing as a full member of the Scientific Committee on Antarctic Research since 1998. Canada partners with other nations to gain access to Antarctica and invest in research infrastructure on, around, and above Antarctica. To advance this goal, Canada has adopted a bottom-up, collaborative, and versatile approach to supporting Antarctic research and science. The Government of Canada provides a variety of funding opportunities for Canadian researchers, which helps foster a bottom-up, researcher-driven approach to Antarctic research and science. Polar Knowledge Canada is also helping to develop early career researchers through our Antarctic Scholarship and Fellowships programs. Canada enables polar science collaboration through arrangements with other national polar programs, and Polar Knowledge Canada currently has memoranda of understanding with several nations, including Japan, Korea, India, Argentina, and the United Kingdom. And we look forward to developing more bilateral cooperative agreements. Domestically, Antarctic research involves multiple federal departments and agencies, including Environment and Climate Change Canada, Polar Knowledge Canada, Fisheries and Oceans Canada, the Canadian Space Agency, Natural Resources Canada, and Global Affairs Canada, as well as over a dozen universities. Canada does not have a scientific station in Antarctica, but partners with other nations to gain access to and invest in research infrastructure. Canada is committed to deploying, maintaining, and sharing critical research infrastructure to support international scientific collaboration in the Antarctic. And we will continue collaborating with international partners to optimize existing infrastructure. For example, sustained observations of atmospheric ozone have been measured from the ground by the Canadian Brewer Spectrophotometer deployed at the South Pole. This instrument measures ozone concentrations and complements satellite measurements from instruments on the OSIRIS, ODIN, and SISAT missions. This data is made freely available on the Canadian Polar Data Catalog and analyzed and modeled by a team of researchers at Environment and Climate Change Canada. Members of this team are 
also involved in coordinating international assessments through the World Climate Research Program and the United Nations Environment Program. And the Canadian Space Agency RadarSat missions have provided detailed maps of the Antarctic ice sheet and its surface velocity and continue to contribute information to support current investigations of the Antarctic cryosphere. Canada also funds specialized laboratories, such as the new Canadian Ice Core Lab at the University of Alberta. And a Canadian team is developing a proposal to design a new hot water drill to provide uncontaminated access to subglacial environments. Dr. Tom James is the chair of the Canadian Committee on Antarctic Research, known as CCAR. CCAR is a group of government and academic researchers who support Polar Knowledge Canada in matters related to Canadian Antarctic activities. The Canadian Committee on Antarctic Research plays a key role in bringing the Canadian Antarctic community together. Members are appointed from across government and academic institutions and represent all disciplines. Currently, Canadian researchers are working jointly with 15 nations on a variety of research topics. Over the last 10 years, Canadian researchers have co-authored about 90 Antarctic scientific publications per year and were lead authors in 20 or more papers per year. This sustained Antarctic scientific output spans the three science groups of the Scientific Committee research, life sciences, geosciences, and physical sciences. CCAR has contributed to the development of a bibliography of Canadian Antarctic research, and the Canadian Polar Data Catalog provides open access archive to many Antarctic data sets. CCAR is also supporting Polar in launching an Antarctic scholarships and fellowships program to support early career researchers. The first two awards were presented to Mackenzie Poirier and Anna Mariah Hayden in May 2022 to support their research on photosynthetic adaptations of algae and subglacial hydrology of the Antarctic ice sheet. I would like to take a couple of minutes to provide a brief overview of some of the current research being conducted by Canadian scientists. Professor Christine Dow at the University of Waterloo studies subglacial flow and its influence on ice shelves. As you know, the stability of ice shelves is recognized as fundamental to the state and fate of the Antarctic ice sheet, and her research contributes to a better understanding of future ice sheet mass balance and global sea levels. Professor Natalia Gomez at McGill University is studying the interactions of the Earth with ice sheets and determining how these interactions affect projections of future global sea levels. Professor Diana Varela at the University of Victoria works with international collaborators to study the impacts of climate change on ocean productivity. Some of her recent studies have examined ocean warming and freshening effects on lipid metabolism in coastal Antarctic phytoplankton assemblages. Dr. Ian Hogg, a scientist with Polar Knowledge Canada, is using genetic methods to study the persistence of terrest terrestrial invertebrates through multiple ice ages. This work has implications for how they may adapt to projected future climate change. His primary collaborators include New Zealand and South Africa. Professor Dermot Antonides at Laval University analyzes lake cores to understand anthropogenic impacts on the environment in the South Shetland Islands and to better discern glacial history over the past few thousand years. His work is undertaken with researchers from Spain, Portugal, the UK and France. We recognize the important role that COMNAP plays in coordinating research, research infrastructure and logistical support across national Antarctic programs. 
The Canadian Committee on Antarctic Research will coordinate Canada's participation in COMNAP expert groups to support collaborative research activities and to ensure safe access to Antarctica and its surrounding waters. While Canada is not proposing to build a new research station in Antarctica, we operate many research facilities in the Arctic and can share our experiences building and operating remote stations. We also have extensive experience operating aircraft and ships in polar conditions and ice-covered waters. In addition, We've been active in many polar education and outreach activities. For example, Polar Knowledge Canada recently held a webinar on Canada in the Antarctic as part of our knowledge sharing series. And Students on Ice has been running youth education expeditions and projects in the Arctic and Antarctic for over 20 years. As an Arctic nation, Canada has an enduring interest in advancing polar science and research in both polar regions. Canada will be developing a five-year Canadian Antarctic research program that will build on existing research collaborations and expertise and provide a framework for expanding research to enable a comprehensive understanding of the Antarctic, polar linkages, and global systems. As I mentioned previously, we would like to explore opportunities to operate this program through partnerships with other countries. We will also provide more opportunities for scientists and researchers from around the world to work at the Canadian High Arctic Research Station laboratories and facilities to enable collaborative bipolar research. And we will continue to support activities that promote international cooperation and environmental protection in the polar regions. Canada looks forward to joining COMNAP as a full and active member and contributing to the future of international Antarctic research activities. Thank you.